Hello, everyone. Here we're back again with the Rapid Subconscious Reprogramming Community talking about how to deal with toxic people. And again, as I normally say, the, the things that I bring are pretty different to what most people are teaching, right? Because one of the biggest things that I see over and over again is people telling you like, you know, you got to move away from these people. So great topic. Thank you, Suzanne, for that, you know, so that you don't get hurt, that they don't affect you, right? And I want to change that idea into something that is going to help you guys grow exponentially in your life. And this is, again, seeing things in a different way. So when we see toxic people, what happens is normally when we're around toxic people is that we feel, you know, drained, we feel negative, or even we feel hurt. Isn't that right? Please write that in the chat. If any of those things or others have you felt around toxic people, right? So we need to understand that there are two main things around that we need to understand around toxic people. Yeah, two main things. First of all, we need to understand that if it is affecting us, it has to do more with us than with them. Yes, it has to do more with us than with them. We tend to blame others for our uncomfortable, feeling sad, feeling negative, feeling whatever. We tend to blame others in a good sense and in a bad sense. Oh, my kids make me happy. Oh, my partner makes me happy. My partner makes me feel blah. So we tend to put our own power into others, you know, and when things don't go according as we expect, right? They don't treat us as we would like to, things like that. We tend to blame them, right? So we think about toxic people as they are the problem. But we need to understand that, no, they're not the problem. They're just showing some traits and it's how we interpret them, how we deal with them is how it affects us or not. Does this make sense? Type a yes or a no in the chat if this makes sense. It is the toxic person acting in a different way, right? That if it affects us, it has to do with us and not with them. So we need to become responsible. If we keep blaming others for our emotions, unfortunately, we are having like the low, you know, when you're giving somebody, you know, gives out them some cards for a game and we're giving out the, the low cards for poker, right? We don't have anything. We need to understand that in that sense, yeah, we can try to move something around, but we are in a complicated situation. When we're around people that might be showing traits that are bothering us, are making us uncomfortable, are draining us or whatever, it's because a part of us is giving our power away. So look at this, that we need to understand being around people that are, might not be behaving and consider toxic people. First of all, we need to understand that they might be triggering things that we have experienced normally during childhood and that's why we're feeling something negative towards them when we're around them, first of all. So it could be because we had a mother, a father, maybe siblings, maybe a grandmother, a grandfather, maybe an uncle, maybe an aunt, maybe at school. We had people that were hurting us that were considered toxic people when we were kids. And that pain is still inside of us. It is not resolved and we're still carrying it. So when we're exposed to toxic people, it brings that up to the surface and it hurts even more. And that's why, again, a lot of people out there are teaching you to move away from people that are bringing you down, that make you feel bad or whatever, right? Surround yourself with ex people or such people, right? So we need to understand that we're giving our power away first of all, okay? Let me change the camera a second so you guys can see me. Here we go. So first of all, it has to do many times because we were exposed to that as kids. And that is still in the back of our head bothering us. It is an unresolved or many unresolved issues. The second thing that could be happening when we're around these type of people, these so-called toxic people, is that they are acting in ways that we also are acting out. 
doesn't mean that we might be doing this to others, right? Because maybe toxic people are hurting others in a way, as we we're saying, right? That, you know, they're hurting others. But the truth is, we might be hurting others or what me, we want might be hurting ourselves. Yes, we got to become 100% responsible. So first, it could be things from our past that we went through and it still hurts, right? And another thing, it could be a mirror reflecting back at us some of our traits. Yes, Seriously. And this is one of the most difficult things that I see over and over again, because people tend to blame others for their own crap, right? And we need to understand that we need to own what's going on, how we're behaving. What I've seen many times, even with myself, right, is that when something bothers me from somebody else, many times that is a trait that I also have. It might be much less than that person. It might not even be towards others. It might be to myself, but it is still there. This is important to recognize because when I own it, now I can start working on changing it. If I keep blaming others, right? Oh, this person is hurting me, right? I give my power away. So I need to understand, and this comes from the bottom of my heart, people. I'm not trying to, you know, make people feel uncomfortable, or feel bad, because again, that is up to you. I'm bringing this to help you transcend, to help you get out of these loops of negativity towards others is that there is something you need to deal within you. So if somebody is hurting you, is hurting others, and it, that in turn hurts you, seeing how this person is hurting others, first, there might be some memories from your past where you were hurt, and on the other, as a kid, right? And on the other hand, I'm pretty sure that you are hurting others in ways that you might not realize, and I have seen this many times, or you're hurting yourself. The other day I posted something on social media and I like hurt people, hurt people, right? Hurting people that are hurting within tend to hurt others. And a lot of people came out saying that that is not true, right? And the truth is, yes, it is true because whether you're hurting others or you're hurting yourself, yes, you are. Whether it is once a month, once a week, every day, you are hurting others or you're hurting yourself. We're not perfect. We are, as I believe, spiritual beings living a human experience. That human side has unresolved issues. So whether it is hurting others or hurting yourself, you are still hurting someone, whether it is somebody else or yourself. And what I see a lot is that people don't hurt others because, of course, they don't want to go through what they went through. But yes, they're hurting themselves. How? If I say, imagine to a person, hey, blah, that person, you're stupid. And they take it within, right? That is on them. It is not okay for me to call somebody stupid. Don't get me wrong. But it's up to that person what they do. And let's put it the other way around. If somebody calls me stupid, I get two, <clears throat> two ways to deal with that. One is to grab that and shove it on my face and say, oh, this person called me stupid. Why did I do wrong? Why am I stupid? And start in a way big thinking and taking responsibility for that, for somebody else's saying, right? Or I can just say, hey, wait, what this person said might be talking about themselves and their unresolved issues. If I did something stupid, it doesn't mean that I'm stupid. It just means that I did something stupid. So I'm taking the responsibility away in a good sense. So whenever somebody says something that bothers you, instead of just thinking, oh, that person is toxic and walking away, it's problem solved, quote unquote, problem solved. It is not actually problem solved. You need to understand that you're not using that to grow exponentially to understand what's going on. Because what normally happens again is somebody throws shit at me and I have the opportunity to move and not let it hit me. But what most people do is they catch it and then they shove it in their face and go like, oh, Tommy said this to me, Tommy said this to me. And they feel hurt because they are hurting themselves. This is what we need to understand, people. We are hurting ourselves. Toxic people cannot hurt you. They're just doing stuff and we are feeling hurt within us because we are causing that pain within us or that pain from childhood is within us still 
It is the mind replaying past memories that are unresolved and we still feel hurt. So we tend to blame others for our hurting. Does this make sense? Type a yes or a no in the chat, guys. Remember, I like this interaction with you people. So please type a yes or a no in the chat if this making sense of you become responsible. So if you try to deal with a toxic person by moving away from them, you know, fighting back, calling them names or things like that, whatever, fighting back, confronting, right? It is not the best option because you need to understand that, first of all, there is something happening within you. And you can still walk away from that toxic person with this that I'm teaching right now, but you need to become responsible. So if somebody attacks me, a toxic person says, Tommy, you're a douchebag. Tommy, you're a jerk. Tommy, you don't know anything. Tommy, what you're talking is silly, stupid. It's not true. It's up to me to say, okay, why is this person saying this? Maybe it's not, that person is not understanding what I need to say. Maybe that person is not getting it because they don't want to get it because they don't want to become responsible. They don't want to accept that they are hurting themselves. I see a lot of people out there, whether it is people smoking, whether it is eating more than you should, maybe, you know, not doing exercise, maybe not reading, whatever it is that in a way is not helping you grow, could be a way of hurting. A lot of people think that hurting is being, you know, a douchebag to somebody else, but maybe overeating, maybe, you know, uh, not doing exercise, maybe not even listening to your inner voice. I, another way of hurting could be, look at this people, when you say, oh, I want to do this, and then you don't do it because you're scared of what other people are going to think. That is another way of hurting. So there's so many different ways that you might be hurting yourself that you're not even aware of. So now a toxic person comes your way or a person that is acting as a toxic person, right? Having those traits. And now they do stuff to you. You need to understand that you are doing that to yourself. That's why it's bothering. Because if I go walking down the street and somebody says, Tommy, you're stupid. Or even right here, Tommy, you're stupid. It's like, okay. I'm sorry for that person. It doesn't mean that I'm always centered 100% of the time. Don't get me wrong. I get sometimes deviated. Of course, there's still this human side in me that I'm still working on, right? I'm not perfect, but that's fine. That's part of the process. But I use those things to say, okay, why did this bother me? Am I judging myself as stupid? Am I doubting myself as an intelligent person? Because that could be it. You might not be calling yourself stupid, but you might doubt yourself as being very intelligent or being able to do this or that. So we're still hurting ourselves. So it's not so important how you deal with a toxic person. It's how you deal with yourself, people. How you're talking to yourself. Are you listening? Are you being aware of what's going on in your mind? What you're doing to yourself? What even you're doing to others? Because you might be hurting others without even realizing. Maybe when somebody says something different to you, you shut down and you don't talk, you don't give your opinion, or you kind of, you know, start fighting for your opinion instead of just debating, right? It's a fight. That could be a way of hurting others or hurting yourself, making fun of others, or whatever it is. There's so many very obvious ways to hurt others or hurt yourself, or they're very subtle ways, not listening to what you want, to what you believe, to your inner voice. That could be a way of hurting yourself. So want to bring this forward because, again, we tend to blame others and then tag them with names. You know, that person is a narcissist, narcissist, right? That person is toxic. That person is it. That person is that. And we start pointing fingers out. And we need to understand that when pointing fingers out, there's one finger pointing out. Look at the camera. One finger pointing at the camera, right? The thumb is pointing up. The index finger pointing at the camera. And there's three fingers pointing back at me. So I need to become responsible. I need to understand what's going on within me, how I might have those traits within me, those toxic traits, those doubts, or whatever within me that are creating this uncomfortable situation. I need to start owning what's happening. Because if I keep blaming everybody else, look at what I'm going to say right now. If I keep giving my power away, I expect others to change what I don't need to change. And this is, the, in a way, the easiest way to get stuck in life. 
expecting others. Like today I was talking to a woman over social media where she was saying like, you know, um, I, I would like people to treat me well. How are you treating yourself? Because if you want others to treat you well, how are you treating yourself? Because again, it could have been something that happened in the past. Or it could be something that's ongoing right now with you towards yourself. And you're seeing that on the outside as a reflection, as an opportunity to finally start treating yourself differently. So see it as an opportunity, not as just blaming others for whatever is going on. Oh, I, you know, I hate people and I'm just going in. I'm not, I'm not even leaving my house because I don't want to encounter people because people are mean. If, if it is affecting you that people are mean, it's because, first of all, people were mean to you during your childhood and that is still hurting within you. So there needs to be some healing. And then there needs to be some, again, also checking, becoming more aware of how you are treating yourself. Because I'm sure, 98% sure, 99% sure that this woman is mainly treating herself in a mean way and she's not even aware of it. And I see this over and over and over again. People blaming others for their own crap when they're not taking responsibility. So again, if you're seeing something like a person acting as a toxic, you know, toxic traits, right? Having toxic traits, use that to check, okay? If I had, you know, um, I don't know, a, um, a cut in my back and I need to stop the bleeding and I'm by myself, I'm gonna go look for a mirror to try to find where the bleeding is coming from to stop and do some pressure on the bleeding. So a mirror would be great to be able to find the spot where I'm hurting. Or imagine that I had to, I don't know, I, I have um, something and I need to take care of it, right? I need to be able to see. Maybe I need to see my back and I cannot see it. So what I believe is that the universe is putting people and circumstances in front of you as a mirror to show you what you need to work on. But again, it's easier to blame others to really become responsible and understand that we are hurting ourselves and we might be hurting others without even knowing it. And we tend to blame others. So use these situations, toxic people around you, of course, to start learning how to set boundaries, don't get me wrong, but the most important thing is not only the boundary, is on how you are treating yourself, start healing, reprogramming your mind, because eventually you're not going to care if you're around toxic people. Why? Because if you don't use whatever they're doing to shove it into your face and hurt yourself, it doesn't matter if you're with depressive people around you, if you're with people around you that are sad, it's not going to bother you. Because you can still feel whatever you want to feel because you are the creator of your own emotions. Yes, you have the power over your emotions. But if you don't learn how to deal with these things, unfortunately, you're going to keep giving your power away and you're going to always, you know, in a way, be in the losing end of the equation. So that's why I'm offering these talks. I'm offering this value that I'm offering to you guys so that you can eventually become free, free of what others say, free of what others think, and mostly of what you think negative towards you. Get rid of that, free yourself from that. But it is through healing and reprogramming that you're going to be able to. And one of the biggest things I said it several times today is the becoming responsible. You are responsible of how you feel, of what you make yourself feel with others around you. Nobody can hurt you. You can hurt yourself. I was in narcissist relationships and I used to blame the narcissist person. But I then realized that I had some of those traits within me. First of all, I was hurt as a kid. Yes. And then I acquired some of those behaviors too. Even to myself. Maybe not towards the other so much, but more towards myself. So again, whatever you're seeing negative in others is a reflection of what's going on inside of you from pain from your past. And many times, most of the times are things that you have acquired too and you're doing to yourself. That's why it hurts so much. Because if somebody calls me boldy, I'm going to laugh because I have a lot of hair. I'm not becoming bold. I have a lot of hair. I have no problem with my hair. So if somebody, a toxic person, calls me boldy and wants to make fun about my hair, 
it wouldn't affect me at all, at all. Why would it affect me if somebody says something, right? And I feel hurt is because deep down, I believe in that too. So whatever you're getting triggered with is because deep down, normally you have doubts about it. It's not about the toxic person. It's about you, how you are acting toxic towards yourself. And that's what I want to share today with this. I hope it makes sense. I hope it helped. I know this might trigger some people to, you know, not wanting to accept what I'm saying because they, in a way, have been taught to blame others for, you know, their financial problems, with for their mindset, for their emotions, for whatever. It is very easy to blame others. But remember, when you blame somebody else, the government, the country, the people, your partner, your kids, or whatever, whenever you're blaming somebody else, you're giving your power away. And we're giving your power away, expecting for others to change. You have no power over them. And if you have no power over them, it means that things pretty sure are not going to change. So you're going to feel miserable for the rest of your life, expecting to others for others, sorry, expecting for others to change. So start changing yourself. Doesn't matter what others are doing. And you're going to be able to live a much more happier life. I hope you like this. I hope it makes sense. Let me know what you think in the chat, in the live. Thank you guys for listening again. I'm going to stay here with the community. We're on Zoom. We're going to go longer with this. And again, I hope this really helps you because it's the key to start becoming powerful in your life, becoming the co-creator of the life that you want. If you keep blaming others, expecting others to give you what you want, that might never happen. So start giving yourself what you want in a way treating yourself well, loving yourself. And this is what we're doing here. So thank you very much again. I appreciate that. See you next call. Thank you guys. Bye.